Hello beautiful people, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a new video and uh, just want to share with you uh, what happened this week and what I'm in uh, in terms of current trades and what I'm looking for in the next week or so. Um, so here we have uh, Euro GBP. I know I don't really discuss Euro GBP, it's not one of my favourite pairs but uh, this week I have been trading Euro GBP just purely but simply because it's a, um, a nice simple trade that I spotted. Um, so let's go from the weekly and monthly and get stuck into it. So on the monthly time frame, we see that uh, moving averages is about to cross over to upside. Um, we can see that price action hasn't really gone into one direction um, in terms of the overall trend. Yes, here we see like an upward trend, but it's always stuck between this kind of region. Uh, that isn't so important to me, but it just goes to show that Euro GBP is like, doesn't have a specific trend, whereas it's more vivid on US dollar. So on the weekly, uh, last week closed quite bearish, but the previous week uh, closed as a bullish engulfing. Um, and yeah it's all above ma's on the daily time frame uh this is where um we see it more vividly that we had this uptrend and uh i'll show you what i saw here so this what i originally had is that there's this sort of resistance around this area and that price action has sort of gone up quite bullish for the past month or so uh, for the space of December and that maybe it's time to exhaust um, so on the four hour I did see this beautiful trade where I just let me just sh show you what I've, I've seen so here we have also an uptrend but we see this um, head and shoulder pattern left shoulder head right shoulder um, it couldn't continue and you see this bearish engulfing candlestick um also hanging man another hanging man and then it fully dropped from there so this was a, a beautiful trade that i've currently got and i can see this going further down um on the lower time frame as in on the four hour let me see what i have here yeah 38.2 i can see this coming further down to where this support level is so yeah this is a current trade i've currently uh have on this isn't exactly what where i traded from but if you wanted to get in on this move this is what i would have so it's a 2.66 percent uh risk reward um and yeah uh nice easy trade on that and let me move on to usd cad um as i did speak to a, a fellow and he was surprised that I was shorting USD CAD and seeing that US dollar is going down. Um, let me get right into that. I like to keep it clean. So whenever I actually get onto the charts, I always delete everything. Um, let's start off with the monthly and the weekly. So monthly, again, we see this sort of resistance around this area. 1.40 um i wouldn't say let's see what we have here yeah and there's a support level here so it is consolidating yes you can trade this uh but this is monthly time frame i wouldn't be trading the monthly time frame but i just want to have the overlook of what's happening um on the weekly um the last couple of weeks have been quite bearish um a new lower high has um been created in comparison to the recent higher high so moving on to the uh, daily, we see this. And if you start applying uh, trend lines, you can see why I'm shorting it. Um, it did break it here, but it did pop up to this uh, resistance over here and continue to go further down. Yes, after it breaks the trends, it, it tends to like to uh, test it. And you can see that over here. Um, MAs have crossed over, so this is a clear bearish um, uh, tr a swing trade. Um, the 
trade that I currently have. So this is on the daily. I just want to show you the fib that I currently have. So it's hit off the 78.6 and like Euro GBP, I can see this going all the way further down here towards where this support level is. It's not exactly a support level, but I'm just going to call it support level because it's where points have hit um, on before it goes up. Uh, so on the four hour, it, it's a little bit choppier, a little bit messier. Um, this is why it's very important to do risk rewards, to do your analysis properly and to spot out where to put your um, stop loss so that you don't get stopped out. So in in this instance, I'm not going to put a um, risk reward tool. I just want to actually show you if I wanted to get in, this would be a, a small trade. Um, I wouldn't do the daily fib, so let me just delete that, and I'll do um, a four-hour fib, which I tend to like doing, tend to like using, but just because it's more precise. So if it's rejected off the fifty percent, which I did have um, rectangle, so that using previous uh, market structure, if we put that there see that price action has um, rejected off that area quite nicely um, once it's broken this the risk reward tool that I would um, have is that is it worth it 1.6 it's not the greatest obviously it's better to get in earlier um, but yeah um, this is what you could uh, look to get in in the new week um, so yeah, I'm quite bearish on uh, USD CAD and Euro GBP, and that's the trades that I've currently got on. Um, I don't usually trade two pairs at a time. I like to stick to one, uh, but it was too nice to avoid. Um, but in the in this new year, I'm planning to stick to one currency pair at a time, especially when I come to execute a trade. And I would suggest that to everybody, as um, that has helped me in the last week to be more uh, precise and have clarity when I trade. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment down below um, and see you the new week.